The nationwide protests are being held across France once again. They're aimed at pressuring the government into scrapping a law that raises the retirement age. <laughs> President Emmanuel Macron forced through the reform earlier this year using special constitutional powers. The move sparked months of angry demonstrations. Unions have promised to keep up the fight in the coming weeks. Natasha Butler has more from Paris. Well, we've been uh, accompanying some of the protesters uh, as they've walked across Paris. We're now at the end of this protest in uh, uh, the south of Paris. And what many of them have been saying to us is the same thing, that they feel they want to stay in the street, they want to keep demonstrating, keep putting pressure on the French government uh, to try and force it to reverse its pension law or scrap it, even though that law was only just uh, signed uh, in April. They feel that it's important to still be seen and to have their Massive message heard by the French government, and that is that they're not, uh, they're not, they feel that this law is simply unfair, not only because it raises the retirement age by two years to 64, but also the way in which the French government pushed it, forced it by decree through Parliament, bypassing debate. A lot of people very upset and angry about that. And look, opinion polls over the last few months suggest that a majority of French people do not support this reform or this new law. So a lot of anger still about it, but nevertheless, I have to say, far fewer people out in the street than we've seen at recent demonstrations over the past few months. Perhaps some people saying, look, it's now a law, there's no point coming out.